Hello guys, what is up? Beckbrojack here, back for another Minecraft tutorial, and today I will be showing you how to install not enough items. I hope you guys enjoy. A previous tutorial on how to install not enough items but that was for minecraft 1.6.4 when i actually did record that um i did upload the i mean i did update the links in that video but a lot of people are getting confused so i decided that i would make a totally brand new video for 1.7 and this will work for any future version of minecraft whatever the title says it will work for that version so anyway guys let's jump right into the tutorial right here as always guys the links will be in the description down below today i'll be showing you two different methods for how to get not enough items for 1.7.2 one in my opinion is easier than the other but uh, also first be before we begin this tutorial uh you are going to need to have forge downloaded so whatever the latest version of forge is i would highly suggest going to download that you're going to need this for the not enough items mod i will put a link um in the description for a video that i made recently on how to install minecraft forge and just how to install mods in general so that video shows you in depth on how to install minecraft forge so if you haven't already done that make sure to go check that video out but anyway guys this is mainly just for not enough items so let's get right into the video so this is the first link that you're going to go to this is the easier version of installing not enough items in my opinion it's an automatic installer uh from sky Daz. you might have heard of it before so i use this to download it for minecraft 1.7.2 and it worked great so all you have to do is scroll down all the way to the bottom down here and you can see the downloads right down here and all you're going to hit is download here uh, it has to be the dot x so make sure that you click on that and then it'll take you to this add file page and you just have to wait for it to load all right now we hit skip add and as you can see it starts downloading down here so you might be worried that this file will give you a virus uh, if you are extremely worried about it you don't really have to be because i have norton on my computer and as you can see down here in the bottom right it says not enough items mod installer is actually safe so it contains no viruses for me. Um, if it does for you, then just don't use it. You can use the second method, which is the manual install from the actual mod maker. But anyway, after you have that, all you need to hit is the not enough items installer. Hit run. And now we can minimize this. And that'll bring up this little mod installer, kind of like it does just for uh, Forge when you're downloading Forge. So all you really have to do is hit install mod. If you want to check what profile it's going to be downloading it to, it is this Forge profile that I have it on. It'll automatically detect if you have a Forge profile, which you should already have one if you automatically downloaded a Forge. All right, so all we have to do is hit install mod. And it'll ask you if you want to back up your Minecraft before installing. So if you still are a little bit worried about it, you can back it up. But uh, I know that nothing's going to happen, so I don't need to back it up. And now it is installed. So we can just hit X. And then to check, all you have to do is go in percent, app, data, percent. And then right here, we have ourselves the Minecraft folder. You just have to hit without Minecraft. And then hit on your mods folder so as you can see right here uh you should have a code chicken core and a not enough items these should both be the universal 1.7.2 or whatever version it is updated to these are just some extra mods that i have installed which i use in all of my videos that i make for minecraft so anyway yeah you have to focus on these main two files right here the code chicken core and the not enough items so this is the first method it should work let me just actually go in game to show you guys that it is working but yeah, guys, this is just the first method. Um, after this, if this one worked for you, and if you use this method, you could just pretty much stop watching the video now. But uh, if you, you know, didn't want to use this method, I will show you guys one more method. So let's just test this out that this works. I have my profile set to Minecraft Forge, and we can go into a world, and I'll show you guys that not enough items is indeed working. So as you can see, guys, I am in game. This is actually a little area where I do my mod showcases at. You might recognize this from my previous video today. But anyway, if we go into here, if you press E, obviously you can see you have the NEI loadout right here where you can turn the rain on and off and you can hit R for a recipe of everything. So as you can see, NEI is working flawlessly. We have all these blocks over here. So there is no problems with this. But anyway, guys, we are going to move on to method two for all of you guys who did not want to use method one. 
All right, guys, moving on to method two. This is an actual manual install, so it's not automatic. It doesn't use SkyDaz from the actual mod creator who is uh, Chicken Bones. So all we have to do is go into his main page where he has all of his mods right here. There will be a link in the description as well. So you might notice it says 1.6.4. All you have to do is go into downloads and installation and hit on new versions. So this will bring you to a brand new page where you can download his 1.7.2 versions of the uh, mods that he has. So as you can see, we have these two same files, which uh, the actual installer did automatically. So we can just open these in different tabs right here, and these will bring you to uh, each a unique AdFly page. So we can just wait for these to load real quick, and it should download the same exact files, but uh, it won't automatically download it to Minecraft. So you're going to have to hit keep for both of these files. So we, we have to click here to continue. We got uh, one of those AdFly pages where it gives you like a double AdFly thingy, okay. So as you can see, we have the not enough items downloaded in the bottom left corner, and now we have the code chicken core downloaded as well, so we can exit out of these. And pretty much, we are going to need to drag this off to the left, because now we are going to need to open our mods folder back up. So let me just close this real quick. All right, so if you don't remember, to get to your mods folder, you go percent app data percent, and this will bring you to your dot minecraft folder and all you need to hit is dot minecraft and then click on mods and we could delete these ones because uh, i wanted to show you guys that it, you could just pretty much just drag these in here as you can see there's the code chicken core and the not enough items and now it should work the exact same these are the same exact files which the mod installer already did download uh if you're still worried about it i can play minecraft once again for you but it should work the exact same, guys. So those are the two different methods that I have found for installing any eye. I think that the first one is a little more easy because you don't actually have to open up your mods folder and everything like that. You could just hit the install button and it does it all automatically. But if you do want to use the second version, obviously it's not really that hard either way. And it does uh, the exact same thing. You get any eye in the end. So let me just open this up and show you guys that it did work the exact same real quick open up my world all right now if i hit e see we have the same exact loadout we can do the exact same stuff if i hit r on the stone axe as you can see we have the recipes and everything in here so that pretty much wraps up this little video guys i really hope you guys did enjoy and i hope that this did help you out guys but anyway if you do have any questions for me make sure to leave them in the comments down below and make sure to also leave a like if this video was helpful to you but anyway guys that pretty much wraps it up my name is beck bro jack and i will see you guys all next time bye